Benefits of Beef Americans consume more than 50 pounds of meat annually on average, according to USDA estimates. What do beef cattle consume, though? Beef cattle frequently consume tall fescue, a cool-season grass, in the eastern United States. As the name implies, cool-season grass thrives in temperate climates with high rainfall and temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the eastern United States does not constantly experience cool and damp weather, and in the summer, cool-season grasses typically perform poorly. However, there are also warm-season grasses like Bermuda grass and large bluestem. In the eastern United States, these grasses flourish in summertime climates that are hotter and drier. Cattle farmers can profit from having robust summer feed production from warm-season grasses, says Patrick Kaiser, a researcher at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Such warm-season grasses can support their continued operations. A recent study that evaluated the advantages and disadvantages of five warm-season forage types of grass was led by Kaiser. Agronomy Journal published the study. Different warm-season grasses were evaluated for their nutritional value by Kaiser and colleagues. Three of the warm-season grasses evaluated in the study, eastern gamma grass, switchgrass, and a mix of big blue stem and Indian grass, were native grasses. Because there hasn't been as much research on these native grasses, Kaiser explains why they were chosen. Although many cattle farmers in the eastern and southeastern United States may be less familiar with the local choices, they ultimately proved to be the most cost-effective. And the research revealed an unexpected advantage of using local fodder. A specific type of fungus frequently lives in tall fescue. Although it coexists with grass, this fungus is capable of producing compounds that are poisonous to cattle. This fungus does not reside on warm season grasses. Tall fescue toxicity hazards would be decreased by all five warm season types of grass. However, ranchers may shift cattle off tall fescue up to 29 days earlier in spring using the three native choices than they could with Bermuda grass. The crew also kept an eye on the heifer's weight growth while they consumed the various types of grass. According to Kaiser, all the forages differed in significant ways. Depending on their ultimate objectives, different cattle producers will employ different warm-season grasses as feed. For instance, a mixture of large blue stem and Indian grass would be the optimum feed choice for cattle ranchers looking for calves to acquire weight quickly important for grass finishing. On the other hand, switchgrass was a superior choice for farmers hoping for steady weight growth throughout the summer. In the end, Kaiser adds, we want to assist cattle producers to make knowledgeable decisions about which forage sources match their operations best. The researchers were able to thoroughly evaluate several warm season kinds of grass since they used heifers for the study. Young animals, such as heifers, are particularly sensitive to forage nutrition since they are already experiencing rapid growth, according to Kaiser. In order for heifers to as quickly as possible become a productive member of the herd, objective growth rates must be met. Forage nutrition is essential for achieving these objective growth rates, according to Kaiser. These animals are excellent measuring sticks for summer grazing of warm weather grasses. Additionally, a yearly warm season grass was examined, crabgrass according to Kaiser, crabgrass is a highly favored forage. By including it, we were able to compare the advantages of annual and perennial forages. Researching how some of the warm season grasses function within the framework of yearly grazing cycles is one of Kaiser's upcoming tasks. We are specifically looking at adding some of these warm season native grasses to tall fescue, Cool Season Feed Basis Benefits of Eggs You can lose weight by eating eggs, did you know that? Recognize the advantages of this superfood. 
There are many diseases that can develop in the body as a result of obesity. Obesity causes the body to develop a number of disorders. Diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and heart attacks are all made more likely by weight gain. You should be aware of the proper technique to eat eggs if you struggle with obesity and consume them regularly to shed pounds. In actuality, a variety of these foods can help you lose weight quickly when combined with eggs. A superfood, eggs are packed with protein, minerals, and good fats like omega-3. You must eat eggs for breakfast every day if you want to lose weight. The body receives the essential protein as a result. There are several ways to consume eggs. It can be eaten after being boiled and turned into an omelet, burgee, or egg curry. After eating eggs, you won't feel hungry for a very long time. Eat these three items together in eggs if you want to lose weight quickly. Nutritionist Ruchita Butra discussed some incredible advantages of eggs that might aid in weight loss. 1. Eggs are a good source of protein, with a single big egg having 6 grams eggs are also low in calories and high in protein. Our systems are prepared to utilize the protein in eggs to the fullest extent because eggs contain all of the essential amino acids in the proper proportions. According to studies, eating enough protein can improve bone health, reduce blood pressure, enhance muscle mass, and aid in weight reduction. Eggs are a perfect component when attempting to make a low-calorie dinner because one medium egg only has about 70 calories. Breakfast is the most significant meal of the day, and eggs are a great way to start the day. What better way to start the day than with nutritious eggs that are rich in vitamins and minerals? Eggs provide an excellent balance of all the important amino acids that your body needs, so your body can readily utilize the protein in eggs for maintenance and metabolism. 3. Eggs may increase your metabolism. 4. Eggs are cheap and simple to make. The best thing about this superfood is that eggs are cheap to buy, simple to make, and come in a variety of flavors. 5. Eggs are filling. Eggs rank well on the satiety index, which rates how well different meals make you feel full and help you consume fewer calories as a result. In research involving 30 obese women, switching from bagels to eggs for breakfast boosted participants' feelings of satiety and caused them to automatically consume fewer calories over the next 36 hours. Benefits of Eggs A common ingredient in many kitchens, eggs may soon be referred to as a healthy food under a new definition suggested by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA is revising its definition of healthy foods for the first time since 1994 in order to reflect the most recent findings in research and dietary recommendations. Eggs provide important nutrients and are specifically recommended by the Dietary Guidelines 2020-2025 for inclusion in a healthy dietary pattern, the FDA claims in the proposed definition. The FDA states that the healthy claim can be used as a rapid indicator on food package labels to direct customers toward products that will support the development of healthy eating habits. Hobie Bahan, a member of the Virginia Egg Board and president of the Virginia Poultry Federation, stated, We are thrilled to see the proposed definition, which is fantastic news for egg lovers and farmers who produce eggs. Because of their versatility, eggs are loved whether they are boiled, fried, scrambled, or used as a component in a variety of dishes. In the last 20 years, egg consumption has climbed by 15%, according to Bahan, who also noted that eggs are a cost-effective source of protein for consumers. The proposal, according to Bahan, confirms what science shows, eggs are an exceptional source of nutrition giving the body a lot of protein as well as 13 essential nutrients, such as choline, selenium, riboflavin, essential fatty acids, and vitamins D and B12. It's wonderful to see the FDA reiterating the health advantages through the suggested definition. Additionally, the new FDA definition eliminates the dietary cholesterol cap, which, according to Mary Rappaport, Director of Consumer Relations for the Virginia Egg Council, had many people on the fence about eating eggs. 
In a news release, she said that it exonerates the prior negative headlines regarding eggs. Data from decades of cholesterol studies reveal no association between egg consumption and risk of cardiovascular disease. Lake Wagner, who owns Green Valley Poultry Farm in Washington County with his father Rodney, expressed similar enthusiasm for the new concept that has been put out. Virginia's largest shell egg producer, Green Valley Poultry Farm, produces more than 230 million shell eggs annually. He and his father are hopeful this news encourages more people to incorporate eggs into their diets. Wagner, who serves as the president of the Virginia Egg Board, declared that eggs are a nutrient powerhouse all around. But people, don't forget the yolks. The yolk of an egg contains the majority of the vitamins and minerals, including those necessary for maintaining our bodies and minds, as well as over half of the protein.